from this learning trip, it is a very eye-opening trip because most of us, we don't usually watch experimental film. In this journey, we actually get to explore a lot of different type of experimental and indie films and it's a very, very good opportunity for us. So we arrived at the International Film Festival venue. Uh, it was at Roppongi Hills. Our first film was um, Low Life Love uh, by Ichi Ushida. We actually get to not only watch the film, we get to learn and understand further from the director himself and how he tells his story and how he shoots his film. And we also went to the National Film Centre, which was really eye-opening because we managed to see the evolution of film in Japan. So on the second day, we watched another film called Sayonara. So after the whole film, we had a tea session together with the director and the main actress. What I actually learned from the director, you have to put a lot of dedication, hard work and passion into what you're doing. He was telling us about how this one scene, he actually took four to five hours to shoot just for one scene. Day 3 started with a visit to the Ghibli Museum. So I think my entire team had a great, uh, great fun uh, looking at all the exhibits. Uh, when we met Pimpaka, I could sense a lot of the passion that she has in her craft. It did give me a little window into the industry in Thailand and it's, I think it's a little bit different from the, the things that we experience in Singapore in terms of uh, how they get funding, in terms of uh, how they go about creating a film. Scene 65 definitely gave us a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I would never have imagined myself um, coming to Tokyo Film Festival and uh, meeting the people that we did. The most memorable experience for me would be um, having a visit to the Magical Studio. I have never been to a studio before, uh, especially a full-fledged um, film studio. So, um, told to me this is actually a, a very enriching experience. The uh, conversation with Nakagawa-san was actually very, very interesting. We realised that he's actually only 25. He said that he's done you know, over 20 short films and five feature films. Bri was a real honour to be able to meet him. Being able to show him our film as well, um, he watched it on the spot and gave us uh, quite good feedback. And so we'd like to thank Scene 65 for letting us be here, for arranging all those meetings with all the directors and, and um, letting us watch all those wonderful films. They were, it was truly a learning experience. Meeting Sego was very enlightening and being a festival director, he gave a lot of input as to what festival directors are looking for. It does help you to maybe plan your next shoot. Singaporeans young and old should definitely participate in Scene 65. It is definitely an important platform and you should definitely take part. And who knows, it might just be a learning trip to somewhere else. So I think that joining Scene 65 really gave us a lot of opportunities. The future participants, definitely you have to come on this learning trip. You will learn so much and you will be exposed to so many things. I think that it's really, really the highlight of our entire, entire Scene 65 journey.